this is the guy to George Outdoors coming to you today from my truck. I'm about to head into my uh, second job. And if you're wondering if YouTube pays all the bills, the answer is no, it does not. But uh, this video is uh, it's the second week of deer season. If you haven't already watched the channel much, I've already killed one buck this year and you're only allowed two bucks in Georgia. So uh, I killed me a nice one with the bow, but now I gotta be selective because I don't wanna just fill my, uh, my buck tag and be stuck with not being able to kill a big buck later on in the year. So I'm being pretty selective. The question of this video is, can you rattle up a buck in Georgia? A lot of people, I've talked with some older folks, they say, no, you can't do it in Georgia. We don't have the buck numbers or they're just not responsive. But I disagree with that. And maybe this video will, uh, will change your mind on that as well. But this video may look a little different because I am completely recording it and editing it on my cell phone. And the reason why is because in a few months I'll be headed to Alaska and I can't carry all my editing gear and my cameras. So this is the trial run for if I'm gonna be able to make videos each day on my cell phone. But so far this year, I've been seeing a lot of, or this rifle season, I've seen a lot of deer, um, had some good encounters with them. But this one particular morning, um, well, I'll just let you watch the video and find out to see if rattling really works. It's about 10.30. I didn't see much in the deer stand. And I was walking out and I uh, stopped to take a leak. And I could hear something in this bottom. And I had my my antlers with me because I was bringing them out of the deer stand. And I hit them together. And soon as I did, a buck came tearing out of the woods. And I dropped to my knee. And uh, he came within 10, 15 feet of me. And uh, I tried to get my phone out. I got a little bit of footage. And he ran off and I was able to play around with him with the antlers and then I hit him again and a second buck came out this time I mean literally just feet away and I was able to get him on camera but uh, two small bucks but man you gotta love this time of the year I just wish uh it would have happened while I was in the deer stand but we're gonna go back to the house eat some breakfast probably uh get back in the deer stand a little bit early this afternoon but man that was exciting
Most of my uh, LUT rattling has always come early in the pre-rut phase. Uh, the mornings have always been a little more productive for me than the afternoons. And, you know, is it always successful? No, but I've rattled with deer looking at them and it didn't scare them away. So it doesn't really hurt your hunt. Sometimes it may not help your hunt any, but it's never hurt my hunt. And in some cases it is successful. So uh, get you a set of antlers, uh, the rattle bag, artificial, whatever it may be, and go out there and try it a few times. You'll be, uh, you'll be surprised at it will, uh, it actually will be successful. I know this video was a little bit different and I know I'm recording it from a cell phone, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope this encouraged you to get out there and try rattle and hunt a little bit differently. But until the next video, this has been the unofficial and no doubt incomplete guide. George Outdoors.